Our news, though, uh -oh, I got what? some for you. Uh oh. Yesterday was the last 6 p.m. sunset oh, I did hear that. Nice. that we will see until, I believe, March something. Wow. So what does that mean? The sunset is now setting at 5.59. Yeah, PM. bring it on. That's okay. Like we can dark. go to bed earlier, right? Yeah. I'm not mad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good time of year. I like it. Anyway, they don't light. agree, clearly. <laughs> so we'll just move on to your high temperatures today. <laughs> we topped out in the lower 80s. We are running about 20 degrees warmer than what's considered to be average for this time of the year. So your average high is 61. And today we had 81 at O'Hare, 84 in Gary, 83 in Joliet, made it to 82 in Aurora, 83 in Kankakee, same thing in Morris, and 83 degrees also in LaSalle. So it was stunning out there today. Here's where we're headed over the next couple of days. So we're going to be in the 70s tomorrow. Unfortunately, that is going to be coming along with small chance of rain. But even as I say that, I shouldn't say unfortunately because we still really need the rain across the area. Most of the Chicago land area is considered to be in a moderate drought. So we do have a chance of seeing some scattered rainfall on uh, Tuesday that on Wednesday and Thursday, we're going to be running a little bit cooler in the mid 60s, still very comfortable. And again, still above average too. But the coming weekend, that's when it's going to be trending even cooler. So we're in the upper 50s for your highs on Saturday. I think by Sunday, we're likely right around 60 degrees again. But looking beyond that, we have another warming trend that's in store for us. So this is your temperature outlook from October 27th through the 31st, which is Sunday through Thursday of next week. And at this point, we're still strongly favored to see above average conditions. So those warmer than average temperatures, they're going to be holding on for a little while. Satellite and radar, keeping an eye on this rainfall that you see further off to our west and southwest, that's eventually what's going to be rolling through here tomorrow. But as we wait for that, it's still gorgeous outside. We have those southerly winds that's been bringing in that warmer air tomorrow morning we're going to be waking up in the upper 40s to mid 50s then closer to late morning and midday that's when we start to see the showers rolling through but it's going to be a really quick hitter notice by 4 or 5 p.m. or so most of the rain is already out of here we'll have clearing conditions on the back side of that rainfall cold front comes through and then that's going to bring in that cooler air mass for the middle portion of this week so on Wednesday and Thursday we're still above average, but temperatures are going to be at least a little more seasonable, putting us in the 60s rather than the 80s, like what we're seeing today. High pressure is going to dominate your weather pattern Wednesday and Thursday, and then we'll have another system coming through Thursday night into Friday. For tonight, 54, we'll have south-southwesterly winds right around 5 to 10 miles per hour, so we're staying mild tonight. 7-day forecast tomorrow, 73. We'll have that chance of rain from late morning through the afternoon. But again, it's not going to rain all day. It's just a couple scattered showers coming through. We're in the 60s Wednesday and Thursday. Thursday night into Friday, we have a chance of rain. Temperatures will be in the 60s. Then we drop to the upper 50s to near 60 degrees over the weekend. Keep it here. We have more local news coming up.